Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and we're going to continue the WordPress series today. Uh, this one's going to be pretty fun, though, because all you have to do is work on the homepage a bit. But what could we do? Well, I want to bring in some games in the sidebar, but I don't know what kind of games to bring in, and how would we do it? We could do like the thumbnail list like we have here, but that wouldn't really work well in such a tight space. So I was thinking we could bring in a full width thumbnail and then have the title and the description below the thumbnail itself and then stack like three of those on top of each other and that sounds good but what kind of games would we bring in I was also thinking about that too and I think we should bring in a random selection of games and that'll give me a chance to show you how to use a query and order them by specific criteria so let's copy this section I'm going to paste it right below itself there, and I'm going to remove new games. In fact, I'm going to remove new games from both of these. And if we refresh and look at that now, you'll see nothing's changed except for the heading, and that's fine. But what I have to do is give a class to this section because it's going to be in the sidebar, and it's not going to have two columns. It's going to only have the one column of, of thumbnails. So I have to differentiate from those somehow, and the way we're going to do it is by giving a class to the section itself. So let's give it a sidebar list. Control S, and I'll go ahead and say that this is going to be random games, or just, yeah, random, and if we refresh, okay, good. I want to set this to five columns, because five and 11 is, you know, 16. Pretty hard math. Control S, let's look at that now. Okay. Now I want to limit this to be three posts. And I want to limit it, or I want to sort it, or, okay, I want to order it by random. So what I'll do is I'll say this, and then that, and then that. But inside of this, let's put order by. And order it by R-A-N-D, or R-A-N-D. And that will order it by random. So to go in and grab random posts. You can also do different things inside this. Just for example, we can order it by the titles. You can order it by ooh, by date. You can order it by the number of comments they have. We'll be using all those later on. But for now, we're using R-A-N-D for random. And if we look at that, refresh, keep refreshing, you see that it keeps changing because it's getting random games. And that's good. That's what we want it to do. Now let's go in the style sheet, and I'm going to set up a class for the sidebar list game thumb. I'm going to set this to be, uh, first of all, float none, and the width is 100% because the game thumb is 50% in the normal container, but in this container it has to actually be 100% because we want a single column. There we go, and we could we could use that. But I don't want to use that. So what we're going to do is take this class, copy that class, paste it, and go with an image. And we can set the, well, let's set the width to 100% on this one as well. There we go. And let's set the height to auto. I could not type. Okay, there we go. And they look that don't look very good. Well, it will in a second. Now let's take this and paste that again and target the anchor tag and set the here's the train. <laughs> yeah. Set the height to auto as well. And if you auto both of those, then we get that. But you can see the image is kind of uh, blurry because it resized a smaller image. Well, we know we have larger thumbnails stored in the folders, or in the folder. So how can we get that? Well, we can just not uh, declare which one we want, and it will just grab the default one. So that'll make it the normal size it should be, and it will not stretch it. So it won't look all fuzzy and stuff. Now go to the image, and uh, we're going to add a margin to the bottom of 10 pixels good. Let's add a margin to the, I don't know, let's add a padding to the bottom of the game thumb. Hmm. Let's just add a margin to the bottom of that. 20 pixels. 
What's that gonna look like? Yeah, we'll go with that. That'll work for us. But now we still have this hover effect on all of these items over here, and we don't want that. So on the anchor tag, or no, the border is actually on the... Yeah, the border is actually... Hmm, where is... Oh, here it is. Okay, I couldn't see it. It's actually on the game thumb itself. So we'll say border none. So for the sidebar list game thumb, no border. And on hover, we have to change it as well. So control C, control V. Before we change that, let's just show you what it looks like real quick. Right, okay, we know how that works. So let's do this and go hover and get rid of that. V vaunt. <laughs> that. And refresh. And we have no hover effect, which is what we wanted. Now, one more thing. So we're, we're, we're making good progress, but one more thing. What if we wanted to put more content? Like if we wanted to make another list right here. Well, if we copy this. We paste it below itself again. Hit Control S. What happens? Well, it brings it down there, but it also brings us down with it. What happens if we get rid of these two sections right here? We make it all one section. Make the whole left side one big section. It works for us. So now all of this is one section, and all of this is one section. So that's what we wanted to do. Is we want to kind of have the left and the right. And that's good. So we made some progress this time. And uh, we are just moving along. Next time, we will work on this spot right here. And then maybe something else. And then we'll work on the footer. And then we get to work on the page and post templates. And then we get to work on uh, searching and... Oh. View count. I want to I wanna implement a view count system. But I, uh, it's still kind of... Nah. But we'll work on that. We gotta we get to work on comments, in, integrating the comment system. That's gonna be fun. A lot of stuff. So stick around for all that. Follow me on Twitter at Awful Media. I will be showing some previews of AwfulMedia.com uh, with all the changes I'm doing. I don't mind really changing anything. I'm writing everything from the ground up again, and I'll be integrating the forms with the release of the new website. So follow me on there if you want to have. Uh, a preview of it and I am taking all kinds of input I will be at least so thank you for anybody who wants to do that I look forward to seeing any kind of suggestions check out awfulmedia.com as it is now uh, I am Austin and I will see you next time